Yo, what's up everyone? Clef back here with a new series for you, and it's a small whitelist server. It's called Amaran. And here we go. So I'm not starting fresh here. I've been on the server for a while, about three weeks. Overall, there's about 10 people who are constantly active on the server, and I'm one of them. But the server started a while ago, and it was before this channel existed. So now, I'm sh jumping in, showing you where I'm at now. Uh, there was a point in time when I built a nice house, but I just scrapped it because I kind of gave up when it was too far from spawn and everything. So I have to kind of start over again. So I'll just show you what I've done so far. Anyway, jumping in, you've probably noticed this before, but my in-game name is CloudTC. Now I've got to make sure to change that when I actually get to it again, because the 30 days is enough. But anyway, getting off topic, here is the server. It's a spawn, just showing it to you now. So it's really nicely put together because when I first got the server, everything was put together for me and I was, I was a happy cunt. Uh, so just showing you the basics now, the farm, the shops, all that kind of stuff. And uh, as you can see here, this is a store. You can just rent it for a little bit and uh, yeah, just sell stuff. We have an in-game currency used which is uh, pretty good, but I'm really poor so that sucks. Uh, yeah, but no one buys the stores even though they're pretty cheap for a week. You can buy one permanently just up the up the path from there. I'll just show you that in a second. But anyway, here's the farm. So this is pretty much where you just get all your good food and that kind of stuff just to start off. But uh, later in the series, I'll make sure to make my own farms. And I'll make them automatic too. As far as shops is concerned, this is the one you want. This is the primary money maker. The uh, ways to get money are pretty simple. Uh, you can kill mobs as well as get the achievements in the game. Not the ones the game gives you, but the one the server set. But coming back to this again, this is the primary way to make money, which is selling stuff through the shop. Now you need to save up enough money to get the shop, but once you've found the shop and a good business, you'll make a lot of money. You can see here I'm showing you the uh, prices, and you guys will easily be able to gauge stuff as we get further into the series. But I'm poor. 40 soul, that's nothing. Look at this. This dude here, that's... These balances on drugs, 18,000, that's not, that's not even fair. And now you can see why you'd want to set up a shop, because that's what gives you money. Uh, some of them are really well put together, some of them are pretty ugly, just showing you now. But there is a limit to how you can build them. Uh, the property is given to you as a 11 by 11 say, and you're not allowed to expand or anything like that to it. Uh, you can see the slabs around if you just took note there. But yeah, you can only build up 11 blocks and down 6 and then that's your limit. A lot of ideas for shops are taken though. I mean, there's a lot of ones with enchanting, there's a few ones for blocks here and there. And uh, farming equipment, you can just see here. Agriculture. But I don't know what my plan is with what to sell. I was thinking probably just start up a farm with wool, feathers, food, leather, that kind of stuff. That would be, be a good sell. But again, I've got no clue. I'm not too read um, the shop stuff because I've never owned a shop. But it's gonna be fun saving up. I'll probably do an episode where I just grind out the soul. I'm just standing out in the middle, just killing a bunch of mobs. Yeah, but anyway, getting back onto the video. I've just shown you all the shops. They're all pretty good. I like them all. But I do spot one here. It's really nicely done. I'm not even gonna lie. Now I'm not the greatest builder in the world, which is you're gonna see in a sec for my house. But I, I, I would say that this is a really good build. I'm not a hundred percent on pronouncing his name. I think it's Bahamut or something along those lines. I'll make sure I ask him. But yeah, this is this is well put together. I am a fan of this shop. Maybe not the things inside it, because kind of stealing business from what I was originally planning to do, but it's well put together. You know what? It's so good. Let me just shoot him a little quick message. And there you go. Boom. Sent. Easy as that. You just take a break from the stuff. But anyway, that took way too long. I don't know how to message people, so that took me a fair few drives to try out. But I don't know which puppy I should buy. I don't know if the big one is necessary because you just need to make it look nice, show the people what you're selling, and sell it pretty much. So I'll, I'll probably buy a small property because I don't think it's worth buying a massive. 
He is a uh, dragon that uh, some guy on the server, his name was Brandon, he uh, made. It's real nice. Um, he told me putting in it wise, he's not too sure what he's going to put in it. You can see here, it's pretty much just hollowed out, but it was really nicely done, especially on the inside as well. It's a nice mixture of uh, textures and blocks and all that good stuff. But this thing here, this is neighboring where my house is going to be. In my house, I'm planning on it to be you. Let's go for a jump. That hurt pretty badly. You can just check my beak in there and my chest just here by the hill. And uh, you'll see I haven't done anything over on the top, but a fair bit's been done on the bottom, which is still to get. Some guys just built some stairs on the side, which uh, I'll probably get rid of them if they're just floating in the sky. But yeah, this took me a while to get these resources. It was tough, but it's gonna make for a grand entrance. Now it's just a long walk to get there now. It takes a little while to get there. A little hole there, which is almost great. Gotta get a slab, fill that up. Now, I'm not the best builder in the world, but it's one of the bigger builds that I've made. And I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, I wasn't too sure what I was doing here before again. These are just Frost Walker from the guy that was here earlier. But anyway, um, you can see what I'm doing here. I'm just going downwards. There's a little platform here. I would probably bridge off into storage. See here, that is my mine shaft. There's two of them. They join up at, at the bottom. Still a lot to do here. From here, it splits into two and uh, goes down. And it goes down on the other side. And that's where an iron farm will go. I'm just going to build an underground village, which is always great. It's going to go around there. And uh, yeah, that's that's always great. All right, and that that pretty much does it for this introduction to the Amaras. Just uh, wanted to let you guys in, show you what's going on. Of course, I know it's not a conventional start, but you just start from scratch. But I'm glad I uh, showed you guys early on. But I hope it's a good series, because I'm going to continue. I'll make sure to familiarize you with anything that goes on in the server, if anything. But uh, yeah, see you guys next time.